taste of own medicine. Markle chasing fame but the media turned on her and made a joke out of her. Meghan Markle's recent appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show received a lot of mixed reactions. Although the Duchess of Sussex did not spill secrets like she did in the infamous Oprah Winfrey interview, some people still criticized her TV appearance. According to a royal author, Meghan came off as fame-hungry by sitting down with DeGeneres. Ever since Meghan began dating Prince Harry, some monolookers have accused her of chasing fame. A part of this criticism may have come from her history as a Hollywood actor. For example, in her book Meghan and Harry, The Real Story, Lady Colin Campbell described Meghan as someone who always wanted to be a star. Some people also questioned whether Meghan was cut out for the royal family given that she would not be number one in the monarchy's pecking order. Even after Meghan and Harry stepped down as senior royals and moved to California, the couple continued to be accused of wanting money and attention. Meghan has also been accused of going on Ellen for fame. During her appearance on the show, the Duchess did an interview with DeGeneres as well as pranked bystanders by doing silly acts. In Meghan Markle's preeningly self-satisfied appearance on Ellen, she embarrassed the royal family and she embarrassed herself, royal author Anna Pasternak said, according to Fox News. She may have rejected the British monarchy yet still she seeks to capitalize on her title, being described on screen as Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. Presumably, this is to boost her popularity in North America. Pasternak, who has written a book about Wallace Simpson, went on to compare Meghan to the late wife of Edward VIII. Both Meghan and Wallace were American divorcee who married royal men and moved back to the United States. However, Pasternak believed Wallace was more dignified than Meghan in her post-royal life. Meghan's cringing appearance on Ellen was the opposite of dignified, Pasternak explained. What purpose it served, I have absolutely no idea, other than to make her look even more fame-hungry than ever. She never did understand the difference between celebrity and royalty, as this jaw-droppingly awful, tasteless interview attests. After Sussex it, Meghan and Harry have given serious interviews about mental health and how much being a royal negatively affected them. However, the tone for the Ellen interview was a lot more light-hearted. The Duchess did not bring up her royal life. Rather, she talked mostly about her childhood, acting career, and the early days of her and Harry's relationship. Many fans praised the Ellen appearance for showing off Meghan's fun and down-to-earth sides. One person even pointed out that, although Meghan was acting a fool, she was received positively by viewers. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle could push the royal family to breaking point if they do a second tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey, a royal expert has warned. The Sussexes are reportedly planning another interview with an A-list TV star, after revealing in their previous interview one member of the royal family questioned what the color of their son Archie's skin would be before he was born. Royal biographer Duncan Larkham, author of Prince Harry, The Inside Story, told Closer magazine, Harry and Meghan have caused chaos and I suspect there's no stopping them. I can totally see more of these high-profile, Hollywood-style interviews with A-list TV hosts happening. Especially if there's lots of money being offered for it. Harry will need a promotion for his memoir, due to be released next autumn, too. Another Oprah interview, if it's anything like the last, would surely push the royals to breaking point. Would surely